Perjury. Under federal law, 18 U.S.C. 1001, it is a crime to knowingly and willfully conceal something from or make a false statement to Congress, punishable with up to five years in prison. Guys and gals, the ATF director lied under oath to Congress. I'm going to show it to you because it's um, it's recorded. In fact, I recorded it. I showed it live. Showed it. I showed it live. Before I jump into it, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's CMMG. Guys and gals, CMMG makes a ton of great stuff. They go boom and bang, tools we love. And right now, you're in a limited window right now where you can purchase tools in that putina color that I love so much. I have two items in Putina right now. I can't link to them, but you know where to find them. And if you use code GNG10 when you order your tools at CMMG, you get a huge discount, 10% off of your tools. And that goes no matter how much you order. And you can use it over and over again. Once this Putina period is gone, guys and gals, it's gone. The period is open as we speak, May 15th through July 7th. I love it, and I think you will too. Thanks to CMMG for being phenomenal. All right, I was thinking, of, uh, I'm sitting on my couch saying this dude lied under oath, and he's gonna get away with it. But even more dangerous, I'm talking about Stephen Dettelbach, the director of the ATF. You know, I talked with Jim Jordan yesterday, and I've talked to some of my friends that are that work every day on Capitol Hill, I, some people that are you know entrenched in, in high level spots. I've talked to people in federal law enforcement, and, and what I want to tell you right now uh, was just reinforced today with an email that the ATF sent to all FFLs, and it I, I think we need to push this, that Stephen Dettelbach lied under oath. I'm going to show you something real quick. This is the slide that I showed several times on my videos. This is what the ATF agents are operating off of. These are the five options for those classified as unlicensed possessors. Five options and that's it according to the ATF. One is to remove the short barrel and attach a 16 inch or longer barrel uh, to the firearm, a rifle barrel. Two is to permanently remove and dispose of or alter the stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached. And that's why I'm making this video, because the agents are taking the marching orders to violate the Constitution, you scumbags who do it. And that's not what Stephen Dettelbach told Congress under oath. Here he is taking the oath. Mr. Dettelbach, uh, the Honorable Stephen Dettelbach uh, was sworn in as director of the ATF on July 13th, 2022. As director, he is responsible for leading an agency charged with enforcing, <clears throat> excuse me, laws and regulations related to firearms, explosives, arson, alcohol, tobacco, and tobacco trafficking. He previously served as U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Ohio uh, and in various positions with the Department of Justice and U.S. Attorney's offices. Welcome our witness today and thank him for appearing. We, we will begin by swearing you in. Would you please rise and raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm under penalty of perjury that the testimony you're about to give is true and correct to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief, so help you God? Let the record show the witness has answered in the affirmative. Thank you. Uh, please be seated. And his sworn testimony, he said this. There also can be detachment. So in other Are words, we don't count. We don't, it, that's not for us to regulate. If somebody simply, we wrote the rule to make it easy to comply with. If somebody just at their home detaches the weapon from the brace and keeps them apart, uh, they do not have to register anything. They can keep the brace, they can keep the business end of the gun. Okay, that, that's a great clarification. So you're not gonna do some kind of constructive uh, prosecution where you say, oh, well, you had this and you had that and you intended to connect they're keeping them. The, I mean, they can just keep them separately. Attaching them as we, as keep we them approach separately. them. But okay, and, because and, that's and, not clear in your rules. Now, why am I putting this out there? Because I have talked to, like I said, I've talked to people normal everyday Americans who don't know this is actually taking place because they don't watch YouTube and they don't care about what the backdoor federal bullshit is. But these Americans, our brothers and sisters, are basically walking into the lion's den un unknowingly that they are going to be felons in wait in nine days. It's crazy. So I wanted to do this video to show this turd lying under oath in front of Congress and, again, reaffirm to you that these ATF agents are saying, that's what they're going to say to you, remove it and alter it. It has to be altered or destroyed or thrown away. That's, their, that's what they're saying. If you have it and you take it off, like Stephen Dettelbach says, 
The agents aren't going to care because they're going to book you. They're going to put uh, uh, charges on you. NFA violations, 10 years in, penal in prison, $250,000 per violation. And they see that and you say, wait a second, your director said I can just take these off. They're going to say, sorry, tell it to the jury. And Dettelbach told Thomas Massey, yeah, I'll just take, just simply, just take it apart. You can keep the business end of the gun. I just don't want people to be jammed up here. I really don't. I love, I love our country. I love our rights. I love Americans. <laughs> and I don't want people to get caught up in this bureaucratic game that they're playing. The email they sent out to all of the uh, FFLs is just reminding them that the time is up. Here's the email. On January 13th of 23, the Attorney General signed ATF Final Rule 2021R-08F Factoring criteria for firearms with attached stabilizing braces. Amending the regulatory definition of rifle to clarify when a firearm is designed, made, and intended to be fired from the shoulder. The final rule took effect on January 31st of 2023, the date it was published in the Federal Register. Affected persons have 120 days from the date of publication to come into compliance, which is May 31st, 2023. The compliance options provided under the final rule are the following. Remove the short barrel and attach a 16-inch or longer rifle barrel to the firearm. Permanently remove and dispose of or alter the stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached, even though the director said otherwise under oath. Turn the firearm into the local ATF office. Destroy the firearm or register it by May 31st. The option to register the firearm pursuant to ATF Final Rule 2021R08F will be discontinued in the e-form system effective May 31. 2023 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. As this deadline approaches, it's become more and more clear to me that they, this was planned to happen when the debt ceiling was going to be an issue and that nobody would have time to focus on it or address it because they're worried about other stuff. It became crystal clear to me that this was part of the design when they gave those who had uh, street sweepers seven years to comply when it was made a destructive design, device. But here, for something that the ATF said you could have for a decade, they gave people 120 days, but the rule went into effect immediately on January 31st. Remember, this guy lied under oath in, to, in front of Congress. He could get five years for doing it, will he? Nah, probably not. Does anybody get jammed up for lying in front of Congress? I don't know. Where's Fauci? Where's uh, Hillary with her emails? You know, it's... I just want people to know what's going on. You have options. You have those five options, and of course we have other options. Uh, but uh, people need to know, man, I'm talking to people every single day, asking them, do you know what's going on? You know, how, how are you doing? What, what's your plan? And people aren't aware of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm begging, I'm actually begging you to, to forward this information, share this video, talk to people on a daily basis, make some phone calls with cats you know who, who might have, might have these, you know, people you know and shoot with. Get the word out at your local shooting ranges, your, your rotting gun clubs. Get it out quick. Because, you know, they're going to make a fool of somebody. They're going to make an example of somebody. I hope that the judges, there's a the couple of cases still out there that, uh, that we're still waiting to hear about temporary restraining orders and, and preliminary injunctions. And I, and I hope to hear something this week. I really hope we do. But this cat lied under oath, and it's going to get people locked up and, uh, and get people in a jam. And who knows, it could get ATF agents, agents hurt as well. If you're an ATF agent, I know you guys watch. Follow your friggin' oath. Guys and gals, if you're into the Second Amendment, whether it's good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, any, anything at all, from litigation to legislation, everything in between, I bring you on a daily basis, multiple times a day here on Guns and Gadgets. All you gotta do to stay in the know is to subscribe to the channel down below. Like the video, share it, hit that bell notification, and... Uh, I hate this. I really do. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.